it's going to backfire. This is what they don't get. I don't care how effective people think it was. I don't care how good, how devastating, whatever people think it was. It's going to backfire. It's the thing nobody figures out. All these attacks on Trump, they backfire on the people that launch them. For one thing, the drive-bys are so excited over these riots. The, well, some of them are. Actually, some of the drive-bys were repulsed by what they saw. We'll have sound bites coming up. The drive-bys are also orgasmic over Hillary's foreign policy speech yesterday, which wasn't a foreign policy speech. It was an attack on the Trumpster. And they just love it. They have been wanting to do it themselves, and they've tried, but it hasn't worked. It just bounces off. And Hillary finally went out, and she launched six months worth of what everybody that doesn't like Trump has wanted to hear. She just fired every barrel she's got, and the drive-bys are, they can barely contain themselves with how happy they are. And so they're reporting on it as though it was the greatest speech ever. They're really saying it was Hillary Clinton's greatest speech ever. Even people like Dr. Krauthammer are acknowledging that it was devastating, that this is the kind of thing that had a Republican running for president the last six months said these things. It might have had an impact on the outcome. It might have prevented Trump from winning. My memory is a lot of them did. Didn't Mitt Romney give an entire speech devoted to Trump's unfitness, intemperance, lack of qualifications? Didn't, didn't Romney do a whole speech, a 45, 30, 45-minute speech? I know he wasn't running, but still, it was a Republican, and he was toying with the idea at, the point, at that time. Uh, Marco Rubio took his best shot at, at Trump. Uh, Jeb Bush... And the Bush camp, they had $100 million that they spent. Although I have, most of it wasn't spent on Trump. Oddly, it was spent on Marco, on Marco Rubio. But, but regardless, the drive-bys, see, the, the, you talk about star-crossed. They have such mixed emotions about Trump. They hate him. They despise him, but they need him. They hate him, and they love what he's making happen for them. Donald Trump is reviving the drive-by media. The drive-by media was dwindling away, fading away in both number, presence, and influence. And now Trump, wherever Trump goes, ratings are up. Programs that were seeing declines in audience, network shows that were showing audience fade away. When Trump is a semi or regular guest, their numbers are skyrocketing, and they know it, and they've been able to monetize it. To a certain extent, but they hate Trump. They hate him. They hate. They hate his personality. They hate that he gets away with saying what he says. Only Democrats are supposed to be able to say things like that and get away with it. Only Democrats are supposed to be able to get away with the behavior Democrats are getting away with when they riot against. And by the way, these riots, the most recent one, San Jose, they're not riots against Trump. They're riots against Trump supporters. You probably by now have seen the videos of the anti-Trump riots in San Jose, but as I say, they're not really anti-Trump. They're anti-Trump supporter riots. And beyond that, they're really anti-America riots, since they are really violently protesting as American citizens exercising their constitutional right to express their political opinion. And it is bloody. It is dangerous. And the mayor of San Jose, some guy named Sam Licardo, a Democrat and a Hillary supporter, criticized Trump for going to places like San Jose and igniting problems that local police departments have to deal with. He said at some point Donald Trump needs to take responsibility for the irresponsible behavior of his campaign. Really? So you have a mayor who pretty much it looks like told the cops to stand down while Trump supporters were viciously attacked. And they were vicious. They were bloodied up. And many of these people are anti-America. They're at signs saying, make California Mexico again. They're bought and paid for by Democrat donors like George Soros. 
Remember the first such riot? It was in Chicago, and Trump canceled an appearance in advance when word leaked out that there was going to be trouble. So Trump canceled it. The riots happened anyway. And the drive-bys immediately started blaming Trump and said the onus was on Trump to get his supporters in line. The onus was on Trump to stop inspiring his supporters to beat people up and beat them upside the head and so forth. It was on Trump. It was his requirements, his responsibility. Well, where are Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders? After such events, San Jose, San Diego, where are they? Asking their supporters to stand down. Where are they? They're not even distancing themselves from these supporters. These are Hillary Clinton supporters. They're certainly not Trump supporters. They're Bernie Sanders supporters. They're liberal Democrats. Some of them are illegal citizens, illegal aliens. Some of them are illegal. Some of them are malcontents. Some of them are criminals. Some of them are reprobates. They're human debris in many cases. And you don't see crazy Bernie or... This is Clinton distancing themselves. You don't see the media admonishing them. The media, some of them uncomfortable what they're seeing, but at the end of the day, they like it. They have wanted this kind of stuff to descend on Trump. They feel Trump has gotten away with things no Republican should ever be allowed to get away with ever. They have been powerless to stop it. Everything launched at Trump has backfired, including their attacks. Hillary attacks, other Republicans have launched attacks, it always backfires. Nobody's learned that lesson yet. Hillary's speech yesterday is going to backfire as well. But the drive-by media said nothing to see here. Folks, these are just your average, ordinary, steeped in tradition American protests. Nothing unusual. And about the violence, well, of course, that's Trump's fault. Because Trump, he says mean things. Trump says really provocative, stupid things. And it's no wonder he's driving our normally sane, beloved liberal Democrat voters crazy. It's totally understandable they would behave this way. It's totally understandable they would beat and bloody up and riot against Trump supporters. Because Trump is such a reprobate. It's all Trump's fault. That's what they're sticking to. For the most part, Trump supporters have not really defended themselves, which is the irony. 85, 90% of the violence is coming from anti-Trump participants, anti-Trump supporters, anti-Trump supporter rioters. The pro-Trump people basically flee, try to get in their cars and get home, get away. They haven't retaliated yet. If this keeps up, that's the next thing that obviously is going to happen, human nature being what it is. So we're dealing here with the, with the drive-bys ecstatic over Mrs. Clinton's greatest speech ever. We have the drive-bys in the Democrat Party ecstatic over these bloody riots, which feature plenty of anti-Americanism. In fact, there's a, a couple of Trump supporters that were caught up to by uh, local media in Cal California, San Jose, said, you know, I, this, doesn't even, this doesn't look like the America I know. And it, it doesn't. I mean, the American flag is being burned, the Mexican flag is being waved, the protest signs say, make California Mexico again. And these are America's leftists. These are the people, when they vote, they're going to vote for Hillary Clinton or crazy.